Good evening, my name is Justin Tarver, and as the proud principal of Glendale High School, and on behalf of the entire staff and the administration, welcome as Glendale celebrates the 109th class to graduate from Glendale High School, the class of 2020. These graduates are now the young men and women of the hour. Welcome class of 2020 to our one-of-a-kind graduation ceremony. Although this is not the ideal way we wanted to say goodbye, we are still going to make it memorable. Over the past four years, we have made friendships and memories that are going to last us a lifetime. Although goodbyes are bittersweet, this also marks the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. Many of us are going to go our separate ways and cannot wait to go. Even so, hold on just a little longer and take in the fact that this is the last time you will be a student at Glendale High School. Remember all the jokes, laughs, arguments you experienced in these halls and classrooms, the running you had to do in order to make it a class, or trying to convince the lunch ladies to give you some extra fries, or even hiding from Miss Scott to avoid getting dress coded. One day we'll look back and laugh at these memories. Of course, none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for our great staff and faculty. So thank you for everything you have done for us for the last four years. I want to give a big thank you to Ms. Goldman and Chef Morris for making my four years on this campus one I will remember and cherish for the years to come. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to be a part of your club. Student Council at FCCLA gave me the environment to grow as a person and also helped me make the friendships I cherish now. Thank you, Ms. Goldman, for putting up with all of our crazy ideas during Stuco and helping us grow into people who can be dependent on. For always keeping us in check during homecoming, our assemblies, and for always having our backs. Chef, thank you for letting me be a part of those catering events, flex conferences, and state conferences. Every event that I was a part of was always full of laughter and joy, which I'm really grateful for. Alejandra, Daniela, I don't know what I would do without you guys for always pushing me to do better and for the endless laughter we had every day. I'm going to always remember our Dutch rounds and all of the crazy things we did together. Maris, thank you for always sticking by me and helping me whenever I felt uneasy about something and always giving me the best advice. Christaly, Lourdes, and Cindy, thank you for making class fun every single day. I also want to thank my parents and sister for, for, for helping me along the way these past four years. Now here we are, just moments before graduating. May the memories you created at Glendale last you a lifetime, and remember to always live in the moment. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are finally graduating. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and class of 2020. Congratulations. You all made it through high school, and within a few moments, it will finally be over. I could go on and talk about my memories at Glendale, but instead, I would like you to take a second to take in the good and the most challenging times at Glendale and smile at the fact that you did it. You are graduating. I've been given some time to think recently, and within this time, and especially during the time of writing this speech, I began to question what I could say to truly make this stand out. But I have finally found that any possible motivational thing I could say has already been said, and that's okay. As seniors, we are expected to know what we want and to be prepared for the world that approaches. How are we supposed to know what we want when we can't even make up our minds on what we want to eat? Everyone says that we have time to make up our minds, but this time, as you can see, with these four years of high school, went by faster than we could have imagined. I understand that my words are just words and may have little effect on motivating you, or even perhaps they do encourage you. But it cannot solely be my words or the words someone else's of, or the words of someone else that pushes you to do what you want. You must also want it for yourself, not someone else. I could go on with this motivational aspect of my speech, but I know how anxious you all are for me to reveal the senior class gift, so I will end it on this note. It's cliche to say, but life is short. My wish for you, class of 2020, is to be happy, and not solely in what you will do after high school, but in life. Now the time that you've all been waiting for, the senior class gift of 2020 is a new archway by the front office to welcome in the community as well as stadium speakers that we believe will benefit football, soccer, track, or any event that is held up by the field. As my speech comes to an end, I would like to thank my family for going above and beyond in making sure my high school experience was one to remember. I wish I could thank you all individually, but we, could, we would be here all day, but I will after this is over. To my favorite teachers who know who they are, thank you for all your endless advice. Please, class of 2020, please make sure to give thanks to those who helped you make your way through high school. Class of 2020, this is it. Congratulations. Once a cardinal, always a cardinal. Up until last year, I honestly did not have any motivation or goals set for myself. I mean, yes, I had goals, but they were once placed onto me by others. Expectations, really. So for most of my time, I was just fulfilling those expectations. I mean, what else was I supposed to do? It was a first for me. 
I had a little more control over what I could do in terms of classes, but I wasn't too sure if I liked that control. But let's focus on that word first. That word has a negative connotation tied to it because the idea of doing something for the first time is scary, terrifying even. It's new, out of our comfort zone, and we don't know where to start. This was many of us four years ago on the first day of our freshman year. Some were ecstatic, some terrified. We all started at different points in our lives, yet we still ended up here, gathered in one place, graduating. We took a chance at that first, and now we're getting the rewards we deserve. Maybe in the future, it'll just be a distant memory as we branch out to fulfill our different paths in life, but at the end of the day, I know that although we're all going different directions, each and every one of us will use our diploma as a stepping stone to get closer to our goal, obtain a job, to pursue further education, whatever it may be. This accomplishment will help us get us there. I want to thank the faculty and my peers for helping me get to this very moment, but I also want us to take a moment for us to appreciate ourselves. Reaching this point was a team effort between you and those around you offering help and opportunities. Not only did we learn academics here, we also learned more about ourselves. But in these fast-paced four years, many of us have forgotten to take a step back and realize that we did this. We had set the stage for success by building a strong foundation and now we have the opportunity to build upon it, however we'd like. Nonetheless, I want us to remember that progress is not linear. We will face hardships after this as we face the real world, just as we are experiencing right now with the current situation. However, in the future, when we do face these difficulties, I hope we look back at this graduation and remind ourselves that this feat we have accomplished is the first of many to come. Thank you, and remember to thank yourselves. Good evening, faculty, parents, and class of 2020. My name is Jonathan Davis, and I'm excited to be in front of you today. It's been a long ride. The last four years have been stressful, and if I may say, eventful. Whether it be because a class or many seem to have always crept upon you at the worst of times, or arguing with one of your best friends over something that turns out to be meaningless, our stress was shockingly personalized to our own lives. I can't be the only one thinking this. I am glad to have the weight of high school lifted off my shoulders. This is the final step in our high school journey. We all have worked hard to get here, spending countless hours so that we would have a solid future. That is a worthwhile investment, if you ask me. Our lives are now ahead of us. We have spent night after night and weekend after weekend working on classwork that we put off to the very last minute, investing our time in sports and clubs that were designed to just keep us busy and out of trouble. But that is not all they accomplished. They taught us about friendship and responsibility. Even if you didn't stick with one or two throughout high school because you wanted to try something new, we all learned something that we didn't know before. I sure did. I joined DECA as a freshman and stuck with it for two years. I learned something that impacted my future while being part of DECA. I learned that I am trash at business, so I focused on a different club. I ended up staying with a club that taught me so much about leadership and building meaningful relationships. I did not think that was going to happen as I walked into the science club for the first time and then became president later. Anyway, each of us have been supported from the first day we started our journey at Glendale. Our thanks go out to each and every person that has been there since day one. The day that we walked onto this campus and started the grind. We stayed with friends that followed us from elementary school and made new ones along the way. I was nervous about who I would meet and if they would have a positive impact on my life. Not going to lie, I was afraid of the possibility of messing up and doing something that I should not have because a friend was doing it. I am glad to say that being nervous was a waste of my time. I met friends and teachers that pushed me to be better and were always there if I needed it. I thank them the most, but I would want to specifically thank Mr. Chang and Mr. Push. Mr. Chang, who pushed me to work hard when I was frustrated and wanted to stop doing something. And first, Mr. Push and Mr. Push, who offered insight and wisdom when I had trouble making decisions. I am intrigued by what is to come from the intuitive and creative minds of class of 2020. In the words of Dr. Seuss, You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights, you'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. Congrats everyone, we made it. Um, good, e good evening everyone, uh, family, faculty, friends, and class of 2020. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has tuned into the graduation ceremony to watch someone close, whether it's a friend or family member, graduate. Despite the current cir circumstances, we've done it. It's been a long road from start to finish, and I still can't believe I'm here giving this speech especially while everyone's at home. Some of us may be disappointed that they won't be able to walk across the stage and receive their diplomas. Others, they're celebrating that this is the case. That may or may not be me. Even though I may not be on a stage, I'm still as shaky as ever re giving a recorded speech to 3,000 people, give or take. Excuse me if I stutter. Nonetheless, I'm speaking for everyone here when I say this is a major turning point in our lives. Yes, it may be scary, but we have to move on to bigger and better things. Whether some of us know what we're going to do or not, I can say we're glad that we have come all this way to this very important moment. Our high school experience has had many ups and downs. 
yet we still have risen to the top in first degree. The countless amounts of homework, the unending tests and quizzes, the stress is gone, but I won't say life won't come at us with those curveballs. I know that for a fact. Life is definitely a learning and life ex experience, but it's nothing that we can't handle. During high school, I experienced many of those curveballs, and for me, at least, there will definitely be more to come very soon. I feel nervous thinking about it, but just like everyone else, I think a great remedy to cur the curveballs, to remedy the curveballs that life will throw at us is by having a very supportive group of people in our lives. At this point in time, I'd like to thank the people who have made my high school experience unforgettable. I will, um, I will definitely never forget the four people who have made this a tremendously fun experience. Randy, Rolando, Leo, and Aiden. Hope you guys will be able to move on with me into the bigger world. I, also, I would also like to thank Mr. Hobson, Mr. Push, Mrs. Runger, Mr. Parsons, Dr. Good, and Dr. Schmidt for making me feel like my education was worthwhile. And lastly, I would like to thank my family. Without any of you, I could not have done this. I'm glad I've been able to give this speech to the class of 2020. However the situation may be, may seem, I wish the best to every one, every one of you and hope we all make it in one way or another. As Rascal, once, as Rascal Flats once sang, my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small, and you never need to carry more than you can hold. Thank you. President Wright, Superintendent Capistran, and honored guests of Glendale. This class has two things in common. One is they have met all the requirements to graduate together. The second thing is they have carried on and added to the great tradition of pride and honor to Glendale High School. They have earned an array of honors for their academic and extracurricular activities. To name a few of these, they have continued to move Glendale forward by striving for excellence in the classroom. You have just heard from our academic top 1% students. From the Glendale community, we acknowledge and respect your remarkable achievements. Thank you. Also, I wish to acknowledge those students who are ranked academically in the top 10% of this class. While I will not present them to you individually, let me draw your name, your attention to their names, which will be marked in your commencement programs. Honor graduates, you should be proud of your accomplishments. Furthermore, we have 134 students who have taken and successfully passed at least one advanced placement course, 26 more than last year, which was the record. These courses are the most challenging courses that we offer. They will be receiving their special medallions with their diplomas. In the end, this 2020 graduating class will have earned millions of dollars in grants and scholarships towards their future plans, becoming college and career ready. Other accomplishments consist of some of them working full and part-time jobs, while others spent time with a highly distinguished group like IROTC or National Honor Society who have volunteered over 4,200 hours to the community. Or how about our theater program that earned a superior ranking at the Western Festival of Theater, an Educators Rising program that had nine students qualify for nationals, and six earning a first place at state, and a culinary program that continues to dominate, which produced six first place finishes at state and another $100,000 in scholarships. And we also incurred another great football season, which included a run to the playoffs and a state career record by Kevin Daniels. Others spent time participating in team events or participating in school clubs that enriched your high school experience and made Glendale a better place. You have all made us so proud. Thank you. Seniors, I congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. And once again, you have carried on the great tradition of pride and honor to Glendale High School. Congratulations. It is now my honor to introduce the Glendale Union High School District Governing Board President, Ms. Pam Reichs, who will share a few remarks and accept the Glendale High School graduates of 2020. Good evening. My name is Pam Reichs and I am the president of the governing board for the Glendale Union High School District. On behalf of the entire board, it is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2020 from Glendale High School. We know you've worked extremely hard to be where you are today, and we are so proud of you. At this time, 
As a member of the governing board of the Glendale Union High School District and by the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the state of Arizona, I accept and confirm that the students who have met all graduation requirements will receive diplomas. Mr. Tarver, please present the class of 2020.
Glendale High School, as we come to a close for our 2020 graduation, I want to leave you with two words of encouragement. We have persevered through much, and we have done this together, and I appreciate everyone working together as a community, a school, and students to accomplish and finish strong. Two, things of, two words of encouragement as I leave you. One, continue to grow. Don't ever stop learning, push yourself, explore new things, learn new things, continue to push yourself. Number two, reach back and give back. Along the way, I would argue the best use of your life is to help others find success. It'll bring you the most joy out of anything else. So again, I encourage you to continue to learn, help others along the way. Once a Cardinal, always a Cardinal. We're very, very proud of you. Parents and guests, may I present to you the graduated class of 2020.